Good morning and happy um, Wednesday, I guess, already for this week. Uh, just a reminder, because it is Holy Week, we're doing um, morning meeting today. Sorry, it's a few minutes late again. Um, and then we're going to do a special Monday, Thursday, and Good Friday uh, chapel services tomorrow um, on Thursday, just like we would do if we were in school. So I uh, just want to go ahead and get started and walk through our morning meeting for today. We continue to go through the events of Jesus' crucifixion and burial. Um, and we're looking at our character trait of self-sacrifice. So let's remember, self-sacrifice is God's power for you to give up something to help others. So our big question that we're tucking away in the back of our mind this week is where do you find the power and motivation to sacrifice for others? So who are you? I'm a child of God, loved and saved through Jesus. So think back over the events that we talked about earlier this week. Um, if you need to go review those with your family before you go on, um, I encourage you to go back and watch yesterday's video or to read the Bible story from John chapter 19. Um, and thinking about... Um, the events that led up to the crucifixion and Jesus' burial. Who did Jesus claim to be? And who were the people in the story who showed love and devotion to Jesus? Go ahead and talk about those with your family. Um, pause the video and then come back and we'll take some time to go over some of those answers. So, Hopefully you had a chance to visit with your family. Let's talk about who Jesus claimed to be. So remember Jesus said, and we know that this is true from the Bible, that he was the son of God, he was the Messiah, the Passover lamb, he was one with the Father, he was sent by God, he was the savior of the world, okay? And on and on, there were so many more, but those are just some of the ones that really stand out of things that were said at this time leading up to their crucifixion and burial. So thinking about our events that led up to Jesus' crucifixion and burial and during that time, who were some of the people in the story who showed lots of love and special devotion uh, to Jesus? Um, well, we think about the group of women that included his mother, his aunt, uh, Mary the wife of Clopas, Mary Magdalene, we think about the disciples, especially the disciple John, who said that, yes, he would take Jesus' mother and treat her, treat Mary as his own mother to take care of her since Jesus was not there on earth anymore to do that. Um, we also think of Joseph of Arimathea, um, who was the one that had the tomb that said that they could put Jesus' body in his own tomb. So the place that he had already paid for, for him to be buried when he died. Are we think about Nicodemus, who came um, during the night to help, um, help with that process and show his um, love to Jesus, as he had been kind of a secret Jesus follower up until this time, because he was a member of the Jewish leadership, who most of them were against Jesus. So, what's your purpose? I am called to show God to others by being a serving leader everywhere. So, we think about the questions, why didn't Jesus argue with or fight against the Jewish leaders, Roman soldiers, or Pilate? Also, why did Jesus have to sacrifice his own life so that we could be saved? And, oh, we're going to take out this question because it's on the next slide. It got in here twice. So talk about these two questions with your family, and then we'll come back and we will go through some of those answers. Hopefully you had a chance to visit with your family. So let's talk about why didn't Jesus argue with or fight against the Jewish leaders, the Roman soldiers, or Pilate? Well, one, we know that Jesus knew that it was his time to die. And we know that Jesus knew that that was his mission. He knew that's the reason he came to earth, to save us. 
His whole purpose of living was to die in our place for our sin and rise again to defeat death. That is why he could say, it is finished on the cross. Remember that it is finished means more than just Jesus gave up his life, but it's also the, our punishment for our sin is finished. He finished the purpose for which he had come. So why did Jesus have to sacrifice his own life so that we could be saved? Well, the payment or what we owe God for our sin is death. Okay, That was the punishment that was given in the Garden of Eden. The only way to pay for sin was death. But the only way that we could ever reverse that punishment was someone perfect who had never sinned, dying, and taking our place. And that was Jesus. So Jesus made the sacrifice of his own life, his own perfect life, by death, so that we don't have to die. Okay. And how do you act? I live a life of self-sacrifice, loving God and my neighbor. So, our question is to focus on with your family, and then we'll come back and review them together, is how did Jesus demonstrate or show his great love for us? And why would you be motiv motivated to make sacrifices in your own life? Talk about these with your family. Hopefully, you had a chance to uh, visit about this um, with your family. And now we can come back and just kind of go through this. So how did Jesus demonstrate or show his great love for us? Well, the answer to that is simply, while we were still sinners, Christ died for us. Even though he had no reason to die, he didn't deserve that death. He died for us. And let's then think about why would we be motivated to make sacrifices in our own life? Well, Jesus made the ultimate sacrifice for us. So now we can make sacrifices in our lives to worship and glorify him. And so because Jesus sacrificed for us, we can sacrifice for others to show that same type of love and care. Okay, let's look at our verse to know for this week. Um, Romans chapter 5, verse 8. But God demonstrates his own love for us in this. While we were still sinners, Christ died for us. And we pray. Dear Lord Jesus, thank you for loving us no matter what we do and for rescuing us from our sin. Please help us to make sacrifices in our own lives to show how much we love you. In your holy and precious name, amen. And we pray together Luther's morning prayer. I thank you, my Heavenly Father, through Jesus Christ, your dear Son, that you have kept me this night from all harm and danger. And I pray that you would keep me this day also from sin and every evil, that all my doings in life may please you. For into your hands I commend myself, my body and soul, and all things. Let your holy angel be with me, that the evil foe may have no power over me. Amen. Um, it's great to be able to visit with you during this Holy Week. Um, this week when we remember the sacrifices that Jesus has made for us. Um, so that way we can live forever um, in heaven. Um, in heaven with, with God um, when we die. Um, we just want to say happy Wednesday. Thank you to all the parents that filled out the survey on Facebook and by email. If you have not had a chance to do that, please take some time and do that today uh, to really help us get feedback and give direction to uh, what we're doing. Um, and with that, um, we'll talk to you later. Bye, guys.